I don't usually do unboxing videos, and, but I'm going to do one today because I am excited. Not just because this is the Sky Tent Base Camp 4, because it was supposed to be here in four days and it took 14. So, the other thing is, it looks like Godzilla and King Kong played catch with this thing and, and really weren't paying attention. It looks like every side is gouged. Most of the time they've got actually holes all the way through to the inside. Uh, so I'm really curious to see what the Sky Tent uh, Base Camp 4, what kind of shape it's in. Uh, so we're gonna do a quick unboxing, maybe not that quick, and see how it survived. Absolutely amazing. I am absolutely stunned. Did I say absolutely twice? That's because I really, really meant it. Just a word of warning, it is heavy. So if you can trick your buddy into giving you a hand with this, that would be ideal. Thanks Sky Tent for building an incredibly Robust case, tough enough to take a sh <laughs> tough to make a long, tough enough to make a long journey all the way here to our yard. Stage two is getting this set up. So one of the things I decided to do is actually just set it up on the back of this trailer, which clearly is not an off-road trailer, but it's one we use here at the farm. And this allows us to get a better look at it, top, sides, everywhere, so you can, and I get a really good idea of how this is put together and how it gets set up. So let's start. It looks like there's three straps underneath that we need to undo. Middle one I've already undone. And here's the last. All right. This opens up. Ooh, she is spring loaded. Perfect. And that's the spot. But this will be handy if it's actually on top of your vehicle. There is a little bit of a breeze today, too, which you might notice. So we'll see how easy it is to set up with that breeze. This is literally the first time I've ever opened up this tent. And there are no instructions. So there you can see we do have a bit of a breeze going on. But it sure pops open nice. This is it, it's set up. My sleeping bag was in there, I could crawl right in. As far as features go, I'm already intrigued. So there's covers on both sides. Looks like toggles to roll them up and get them out of the way bug screen. Now look at that. There's actually an inside window closure as well. And it looks like you can also do any one of them independently. I like the finish around all the windows. The beads that are sewn in to make sure that no fabric comes apart over the long term. Again, I haven't found any instructions yet, but this is looking pretty straightforward because I see hooks in here. and holes in the frame. Wow. One of the other things I really like too, is I noticed that the rain fly is actually all attached. So it's not something you have to set up separately. In a stroke of genius, all of these are exactly the same size. So you won't have to go around trying to figure out which one belongs where. Because it's one thing to set up when it's a nice sunny day with no wind, but that's not always how you have to make camp. To finish it off, it looks like all we gotta do in the front is connect a buckle on each side, attach the Velcro, And the buckle. Okay, I'm being outsmarted by a buckle. Hey, none of that. Ah, 
That must be one of the fastest rooftop tent setups I've ever had. Uh, that was spectacularly easy. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. And here you can kind of see the plastic inside that's a mesh. The zippers are double sided so you can do them up from the outside or the inside. And then there's the full enclosure here. You can see the toggles that wrap everything up real nice. And inside, yeah, it is spacious. We're gonna find out just how spacious. Two-way zippers, both inside and outside. And here we are inside the base camp four. Windows on two sides. And you can see the back wall, which is a huge advantage over just a soft shell tent because it'll block the wind 100%, provides a nice rigid structure with those gas struts that helped us open the tent. Two shoe pockets on either side of the ladder. So base camp four is supposed to be a four person tent. And uh, well, yeah, I'm sure you could get four people in here, but it's definitely comfortable for one, especially if you starfish and uh, quite comfortable too. I can easily see the wife and I and the dog in a tent like this for a weekend, if I could get the wife in a tent like this for a weekend. But uh, I'm 5'8", so I can completely stretch out. And my head's not up against the back yet. I've got some room. Max roof height. Well, it's not a bedroom size, but it's definitely enough that uh, you can crawl around in here without any problem and get your stuff sorted. That's it for the Base Camp 4 from Sky Tent. We are going to have a lot of fun with this. If you enjoyed this video, share it and smash that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to be notified when a new video comes out. Until next time, stay safe and we'll see you on the trails.